Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And watch this space for final space. It's, well, actually not coming back. We're going to talk about this animated series, another casualty of tax write-offs by mm. Warner Brothers Discovery. And, and we know that they are pulling a lot of content off of HBO Max and off of Cartoon Network. And this one was on Netflix, uh, but it was produced by Warner Brothers and uh, it has been written off and the creator is not happy. Fans are not happy and how it was done is, well, pretty crappy to mm -hmm. be honest. So we're gonna talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. We talk about the animation industry. We talk about comic books. Um, you want to check out an animated style comic book, uh, check out Crimson Ren on Indiegogo. We're going to leave it in demand for about a month or so until we wrap it up and get in our final orders. But thank you so much for the support. Yes. Uh, almost $85,000, uh, over 1,200 backers. Uh, awesome. Thank you again. Um, yeah, so let's, let's talk about this. I had several people tag us in because we've been kind of following the... Uh, implosion of animation at Warner Brothers Discovery. Now they own Cartoon Network, they own Adult Swim, uh, a lot of the animation channels, they've done stuff for TBS, and they also kind of, you know, put their content on other platforms, and Final Space is done. It's just done. And There's it's a tax write-off. No space for the Final Space. No space for the Final Space, yeah. And uh, here, this is what the, uh, the showrunner had to say. Olin Rogers is not happy. Five years of my life, five years of my life, three seasons of TV, blood, sweat, tears, became a tax write-off for the network who owns Final See, Space. See again, the network bought it, they can do what they want with it, and the creator can't do anything about it. That is the problem. Unfortunately, and this isn't what he's saying, but we'll, we'll talk more about this. Unfortunately, since animation is so cost prohibitive, it is very hard for creators to get the kind of money that they need to make an animated series themselves. It's not like comic books where, you know, you just draw the comics and not that it's that easy, but, you know, animation is so expensive, mm -hmm. you know, so they make a deal with the devil, basically. Yep, that's it. That's why it's disappeared everywhere in the USA. Five years of work vanished. When the license is up internationally, Netflix will take it down and then it will be gone forever. There are no more physical copies of season one and season two and no physical copies of season three were ever made. Your memory of Final Space will be the only proof it ever existed unless you own a copy. I never heard of it. I'm sorry. I've heard of it. I haven't watched it, though. I, I heard people say good things about it. I just I I haven't gotten it. around to it. Now, I, I guess I'm never uh -huh. I guess I'm never going to get around to it. I'm just like, man, they're just like snapping cartoons like crazy. Been trying to process how it feels. It's been hard because it's just so absurd, like a tax write off. Really? That's what happened with Batgirl. Mm -hmm. Hey, I, I, I called that, by the way. Yeah, you did. Uh, maybe I've become so numb to bad things happening in my life because of the frequency with which it has been occurring that I really didn't register the sting. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, I mean, to be fair, look, it hurts, but I'm also like, this is showbiz, man. This is mm -hmm. how it works. Unfortunately, this is how it works. Which we've That's, told you guys multiple times. We've been telling you this for years. If you've been watching the channel and you've listened to us and you've heard us talk about different things like this is how it works unfortunately now the case with warner brothers discovery is one of the weirdest freaking things i've ever mm -hmm. ever covered because i've never seen a company snap that much content <laughs> yeah I don't, and for no reason tax right off my ass there's only so much it, it there is but i'm like it doesn't seem like things like this are going to make much of a dent yeah that girl will make a much bigger dent than you know infinity train or you know this one yeah so that's the thing it's it's just a very odd choice you know uh the stinger is broken off underneath my skin now it's annoying look i get it this decision was just business yes. final space will always be personal to me some might say to give up and move on and i have moved on to many new projects i'm very passionate about but i will not give up on this story and these characters i will never stop fighting for final space if it takes years then so be it hashtag renew final space it's a banner that you all have been waving and it's a rallying cry i can stand behind while i continue into this long dark night chasing an ending for the story. Yeah, I've, I never heard of it. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I've heard of it. I just haven't watched it. Um, but uh, I, you know, I, I watched clips of it before doing the video, and it actually, it actually looks pretty decent. If you're into sci-fi, if you're into you know Star Trek, it looks like it was a pretty decent cartoon. But um, the thing is, a lot of showrunners, a lot of creators, I think they need to have an exit clause because mm -hmm. it seems 
more often than not, these shows never get an ending. So either you have to create a show that it's okay if it just ends tomorrow. It's like a situational thing. Like if yeah. SpongeBob ended, it wasn't like they had any major, you know, arcs that had to be wrapped right. up or anything. Except for, you know, SpongeBob and Patrick getting it on like DeviantArt wants. What? Yeah, probably. Anyway. Um, you know, so I, I don't know. I mean, it's just you almost have to go into it like, okay, we're going to do one. We're going to do a self-contained story in one season. What Sorry, I'm trying to think of what you call that. Spatrick? I'm sure there is a lot of um, Spatrick all over the bottom of the sea. All over Bikini. There's Spatrick all over Bikini Bottom. Sponge Pat. 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 Pat Pat. <laughs> Pat Bob. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I was Bob. listening, but my mind just went to that. What do you even call that ship? Sorry. I'm sure. I'm I was, sure very, there I was distracted for, for a moment trying to think of what to call that. Pat, Pat, Spat Bob. Pat, Pat, <laughs> Spat <laughs> Bob. Spunk, Spunk, Square. No, pants. wait. Stop. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, you kind of have to go into it and be like, hey, uh, they're giving us money for one or two seasons, but I've got this. 12 season story arc planned. I'm like, you can't do that mm -hmm. because there's no guarantee you're going to have. Unless you're making your own thing. Unless you're making your own thing and you're independently wealthy and you can guarantee you've got the money set aside in a bank account somewhere to make you know, the millions and millions and millions of dollars it would take to finish it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's sad. It was, uh, you know, here we have Collider, uh, final space to be pulled from all platforms as Warner Brothers Discovery's tax write-off casualty. And we're going to see more of this. Mm -hmm. This is just the beginning. Again, this is kind of the, the ones that for them, I think, were, uh, were an easy cut. Um, and I think we're going to see a lot more of it. They mentioned Batgirl in here. Um, they talk about, uh, you know, the series being canceled before Warner Brothers. Okay, so wait a second. The series was canceled before the Warner Brothers and Discovery merger. It's the latest in the tax write-off casually from the studio. So it was, so it was Infinity Train. So it's almost like they're looking at, like, the show's done anyway, so screw it. Well, that's probably what they're looking at. It. But I'm just sitting here, like, too. In the previous years with Warner, they have over -spent. It was widely known that there was a people in charge for a while there that were greenlighting everything and just money was flowing like water and you get a show and you get a show and you get money and you get money. And they ran into trouble because of, of the over, the overspending. So it could just be that, you know, we have Zaslav in here trying to, to rein it all in to make it sellable to somebody else or to make it, which there have been rumors that that's what's going on, or to make it, you know, profitable again and not, you know, get rid of some of the debt. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he said before that the stuff that's not their top shelf entertainment, they have no problem like bundling it up and, and selling it to another platform. Now, the weird thing about this one, though, is it was on Netflix already, but it might be like, OK, we're going to take it off Netflix. We're going to make another deal with them and then they can have. But Netflix might even be like it. We looked at the watch time. It's not worth it for us. either. Yeah, I, I honestly never heard of it. But well, the marketing fair, wasn't that great. I was, I've been on sure. Netflix a whole lot either. So, you know, that could be part of it. So, yeah, I, you know, I, I check out animation on Netflix, but this one, I, I'd heard of it. It had uh, come up in my recommendations before, but I was like, eh, yeah, I'll get to it eventually. I mean, I'm still trying to get through all of the, the new CGI He Man. Um, yeah, but, we gotta uh, watch more of that. Yeah, I don't watch nearly as much Netflix as. I used to because there's just not a whole lot there. You don't watch <laughs> hardly any TV because you don't have time. I don't have time to watch a lot of TV. But um, this, you know, look, I, um, you know, I definitely uh, feel for these these uh, creators. You know, mm -hmm. they thought this was their their dream job, and there are some good. I mean, look, there's some stuff that got cut that was like, oh yeah, that was no brainer. But there's some other stuff that was actually pretty good. Yeah, and this is the problem when you sell your rights to to a TV studio. I mean, it's great on one hand because where else did it get made? But the flip side is they own it, and technically, as long as they own it, unless they give you a, a clause where you get it back. You have to buy it back, or they could turn around six in, in, in like six months and hire somebody else to do a show based on it. That's happened repeatedly at Cartoon Network. They've done reboots. You know, look mm -hmm. at the the first Powerpuff Girls reboot. They did it without you know Craig McCracken. Now they've wisened up, and you know, but like they can totally do that. So, you know, the flip side of that though is you're not going to get your show made yourself. Very, you know, it's gonna be a lot harder to do. So you got to really weigh like what is important to you and realize that, like, I guess I would say don't sell your baby because there is a chance that the show you're you're doing right now is going to get snatched away from you, mm -hmm. canceled, whatever. I'd be like, do a show that you don't put your heart in. So I'm not saying do garbage, but like be like, okay, if this thing gets taken from me, I don't really care. The one I really want to do, 
I'm, I'm saving that one for myself. Right. You know, that's that's probably the way to look at it. Unfortunately, then we're going to get a lot more dog shit because people aren't going to put their all into mm -hmm. the corporate stuff. But um, anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.